Witamy Państwa serdecznie. Dzisiaj jesteśmy gośćmi na festiwalu Kina dla Dzieci i Młodzieży, który nazywa się Kino w Trampkach. To już druga edycja tego festiwalu, tego przeglądu. Dzisiaj jesteśmy gośćmi Kina Illusion i dzisiaj mamy też specjalnego gościa. Filmem otwarcia będzie Misja Gwiazda, a reżyser Martin Miernar jest dzisiaj z nami i mamy tą niesamowitą przyjemność zaprosić na rozmowę z reżyserem. Dziękujemy jeszcze raz Kinu w Trampkach i Kinu Illusion. Rozmawiamy na otwarcie tego festiwalu. Uh, hello, uh, my guest today is um, Martin Miernar and the film uh, that is opening the, uh, the huge festival is called The Contest in English. The film has its premiere in Poland in January, but the viewers can already see it during the festival. Um, and because we have seen the film, but our viewers haven't, uh, would you please introduce the film a little bit for us? Yes, um, it's a film for kids and for adults with a childish mind, I would say. And it's a, it's a movie about music and joy and friendship, and a music about, you know, having a dream and f trying to fulfill a dream and to realize that if you have a will, there's also a way. Oh, but that's very nicely put. Um, the main character of your film is trying to get into the uh, television song contest. Are these types of uh, television programs popular in Denmark? Oh, yes. Man, it's the it's the song contest like the, like 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 having the Eurovision song contest, but only for kids. And in Denmark and in Scandinavia as a whole, it's hugely popular. It's even more popular than the adults. And we actually in Denmark we do it in the same uh, in the same not do it. It's it's in a big sports arena where they do it. And, and you know they do the big adult one, the big Eurovision song contest, and the week after. In the very same settings, in the same uh, uh, building, we do the, the, the kids show. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When we do the kids show, they sell double as much tickets. Double? Double, yeah. It's incredible. So, yeah, it's very popular. Um, where did you find these very talented young talents that play in your film? It's incredible. Yeah, as a, I, maybe I should tell you that it, 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 in the movie, it's, a, it's, a, it's about a, a Christian Danish boy from the west coast of Denmark, a very, very uh, traditional Christian part of Denmark. And he, he has to move all the way to Copenhagen, which is the capital of Denmark, and where he, he gets into a class with the multicultural uh, uh, pupils in it. And all of a sudden, he becomes a stranger, even though he's, he's a Dane. And he meets with this, uh, with this girl from Copenhagen that is from a Turkish family. She's born in Denmark, but she's from a, a Turkish family. And, and she has to take him into the class and try to, to assimilate him even though he's the, he's the, he's the Dane. So it's, it's quite difficult parts for, for, and very, very big parts for, for this, uh, this boy and this girl. Uh, so we had to do a lot of casting uh, to find them and playing a lot, of, uh, a lot of the scenes and stuff. But you know what? I've been doing a lot of children movies and on television as well. But for the first time ever, when the kids got in, this is the girls I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Normally when the kids get in, they come into the studio and we, and we put a number on them so afterwards we can remember who's who. Uh, and we had, I think, like 400 something uh, different girls uh, through the studio to, uh, to cast. And can you guess what number she had? 13. Nope. Number one, Uno. Yes, she was the first. She was the very first girl who came in. And I was like, I'm, that's her. And the casting director is saying to me, oh, we have a lot of others. Perhaps you would like to, love to see them as well. I said, yeah, I can see them, but I, I, I think it's her. So you knew instantly from the first moment you saw her, from the first ch child you saw, you knew that she was the one. Yeah. Did you see more? The kids? Mm, no, only 400. <laughs> okay, well, that's a lot. Um, <laughs> The, in the movie, there are many different issues addressed, and uh, you've talked about this, that this is the multicultural setting that we're talking about, Copenhagen. Um, have you ever um, had any, I mean, problems, or is it discussed in, in Denmark, um, the multicultural setting, the immigrants, the, the people that come from different countries and set a life in, in Copenhagen or Denmark? I don't know how it is here in Poland or here in, in Warsaw. But in Denmark, and especially in Copenhagen, that is the number one issue. 
I mean, that's what everybody's talking about, and in politics as well. And whenever we have a selection, uh, an election in, 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 in Denmark, that's the subject number one. What should we do with all the uh, all of the immigrants uh, and the immigrants from Syria, immigrants from from everywhere? And, and, and funny enough, it's always always the Muslim immigrants that are the problem, I think. But you know what? It's only for the adults that there's a problem. It's never for the kids. So if you go into a multicultural school, we have a lot of them in in in, in Copenhagen, and you just see the the kids play together. They never address it as a problem. They're just there. They don't have any prejudice. They don't have anything. So the whole idea with this story is really to show the kids, but also a little bit to show the adults, uh, their parents, that if you don't address things as a problem, it won't emerge as a problem. So, so just, just, you know, try and understand each other. And, and as she sings, in, in, in this movie, she, she has a song. She, she's singing, uh, look at me, look at me the way I am. Don't look at me the way I look but look into me the way I am. And I think that, that this is a very beautiful message because it means that if you look at people inside their hearts instead of on their skin, you will, you will very soon you, you will find out that people around the world are very similar. And you know what? I can actually prove that. Because, How come? Yeah, because this movie has been... And I've done a lot of movies, but this has really, really uh, somehow uh, clicked the button because... I'm going to festivals all over the world. I've been in you know where I've seen it first? In Berlin. You saw it in Berlin, yeah. Berlin was fantastic. Uh, I mean, being in Berlin and uh, seeing German uh, kids laughing the right places and uh, crying the right places and, and cheering the right places and stuff. But, but after, after that, I went, to, uh, I went to, uh, to Canada, to Toronto, and we, we, we screened it there. And we went to the north of, of, of Norway, we screened it there. I've been in, in Sweden, I'm going to Budapest, I'm going to Russia, I'm going to Chicago, I'm going I said, everywhere. And the kids all over the world, they react in the exact same way, which tells me that we are not that different. Yes, well, we live in a global village. One wise man said. But how did you um, make it an idea of a film to mix, on the one hand, uh, the multicultural setting and the background of different kinds of children with this uh, television show music contest? Well, we, we actually, we, 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 we did it like this. We, we shot the whole movie except the show first. And we edited it and everything was, 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 was ready uh, to go on screen. And then we, uh, we went to the actual show that they do in Denmark. So they are not uh, like stunts in the in the audience. They are all children who come to this show to see it. Yes, it, it, it's it's, a, it's an actual show, and and but of course we did a lot of editing <laughs> to, to 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 knit it together. And 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 when you see the movie, you won't almost won't believe this, but we only had ten minutes with the girl and and the actual audience when they were only ten minutes before the show started. Mm -hmm. uh, But then we just knit it together and <laughs> did our, you know, our usual magic that you can do when you, when, when you do movies. But yeah, it, it, it's the right show. And the reason that, that, that we, we edited everything and so it was, it was ready was because Denmark's radio, which is, is a state uh, television company in, in, in Denmark, they put a lot of money into this film. And they said, can you somehow let it open very close to the actual uh, uh, MGP? Because then the, the kids will see it, it was the actual MGP we just saw uh, three weeks ago. And so we did. <laughs> That's fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Tell me something, because um, you mentioned that multicultural society is a problem in Denmark. Did you experience any problems financing your film? How was it with the financing in Denmark? A film about that, although it's for children mainly. Uh, uh, first and foremost, I would, I would like to say that I did not say, I hope I didn't say that it's a problem. It's a challenge. Yeah, it's a provocative we have, we have to work with. But I don't see it as a problem. Um, but yes, we had a lot of actual problems financing the movie. Because the Danish Film Institute uh, uh, said no. Um, and the reason for that is that they said that this film, with such a big, huge uh, ethnic cast, wouldn't be able to sell tickets in the province of Denmark. And they gave us that in writing. Incredible. Incredible. And... Um, And a, a, a Danish journalist, he, he saw that and he put it on the front page of, of a Danish uh, newspaper and everything exploded, simply. Uh, and we had a huge debate. And it's actually, as we speak, it's still going on in Denmark. And the Danish Film Institute has now, uh, they're using a lot of money they put into a project 
trying to, to, to teach uh, ethnic actors uh, to go to the castings and, and try and be casted for, for, should you say, everyday parts, instead of always being the taxi driver or the villain or the prostitute or whatever they, you used them for, they should reflect the everyday life we have. And in our everyday life, at least in, in Copenhagen, I mean, people from other countries, they're, they're doing, they're doctors, they're architects, they're school teachers, they're whatever. So, so that should reflect that in the movies that we do. Uh, because I think the importance, especially when you do a, a, a children's movie, you must reflect their everyday life. Because if you want to tell stories to make these kids of today better citizens of the world tomorrow, and that's really somehow the idea, not only with this movie, but, but uh, with movies as a, as a whole, you have to tell them stories about themselves exactly as they are and meet them where they live. And so they can actually recognize themselves in that uh, everyday life. And you don't do that if, if, if the only thing you see uh, Muslims do is, is uh, being a cab driver. I mean, yeah. Setting challenges aside, are you a good storyteller? If I'm a good storyteller, I would like uh, let other people judge that. But when, you, uh, when people ask me, what do you do? Because I direct, uh, I write, uh, I write for cinema, I write for television, I write for... Uh, for um, uh, for theatres as well. Uh, I have a part in a, in a computer gaming company uh, and stuff like that. So when people ask me, what do you consider yourself? I say, well, I consider myself a storyteller at any given bonfire, and that's what I am. Do you show your movies to your children before they, are op they, are, they open at the cinemas? Not only I show them the movies, but I, I, I actually uh, have them read the script. Especially my daughter. I have a daughter at 17. She wants to be a, a screenwriter as well. So, so she, 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 she reads it and, she, and I said to her, you have to be blunt. Really have to be blunt. And Is she? Oh, yes. Oh, she's, she's terrible. I, I'm so shaky whenever she, she goes through it because she's right there. You know, if something doesn't really cling and yeah, and that's good. Tell me something. Um, in the recent years we've seen well well not even in recent years but scandinavia has always been strong on children's movies i mean all the countries from the region i'm not only saying about denmark sweden norway uh, finland but um where do you think or why do you think that is well the most honest answer would be i don't know i'm i'm, I'm I, I was never a, a kid in in denmark i was a kid in scotland because i come from scotland but <laughs> but my kids are of course from denmark and uh, but i think some of the answer might be that there's a great and very, very old tradition in Scandinavia for telling stories. This, uh, maybe even all the way from the uh, Icelandic sagas and stuff like that. For, from, for every kid in, 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 in the Scandinavian countries are used to being told stories. And we have great storytellers from Hans Christian Andersen to, uh, to Astrid Lindgren to, uh, you know, all, all of these fantastic storytellers that have been for, for years and years and years in, in the Nordic countries. So maybe... It has something to do with that. I'm, 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 I'm really not sure, but um, it's true. I mean, the Danish uh, child television is world class. It is, yeah. It is. Um, okay, last question. Uh, because you're opening this festival, and this is like one of the most renowned uh, festival for uh, kids and, and young adults. Although it's pretty new, but it's already been established. Um, are you excited about opening this festival with your film? I'm very excited uh, to do that. Um, also because, you see, making a story like this is one thing. It's also always funny to make a, f a film and people like it and stuff. But to be able to travel around with a story like that to other countries and actually to see that, that, that kids from other countries not only like the story but understand the story and, and, and somehow feel that it has something to do, to do with them, that means that for tomorrow's... Uh, children films, uh, a Polish film and a Danish film, uh, uh, like that, will have a larger, much larger audience around the world. I mean, and that's fantastic. Uh, both when it comes to funding, but also when it comes to storytelling, that so many people will, will like to hear my story. Man, come on, listen to it. Come on, see the movie. See the movie. Zobaczcie Państwo ten film. Jeszcze będzie grany na festiwalu Kino w Trampkach. Zapraszamy serdecznie razem z reżyserem filmu Misja Gwiazda. Muzyka